Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. This week on my blog, I am playing with a Yeti to Party stamp set and new coordinating dies. Stampin' Up! has released six new die sets this, this month, September 2022, that go with stamp sets that didn't already have dies. And this was a perfect choice because look at all these fun little things. And we're going to use the new dies to cut out those uh, snowflakes as well as that cute little banner. All right, let's get started. We're gonna stamp our Yeti on something that's called snowy white velvet paper. And I know you probably can't see it in the video, but it is like a flocked paper. I thought that was a fun thing to do with our Yeti. So I'm gonna use soft suede ink. And one thing to note is that it's gonna take a while for this ink to dry on this sheet. Normally it dries almost instantly on your basic white paper, but on this snowy white sheet, I have found that it stays a little bit wet. And when we run it through our cut and emboss machine, I'll show you something important that you're gonna need to do. All right, now let's stamp our other things. We're gonna use um, Polished Pink and Poppy Parade. I am using the Happy Everything Designer Series paper. And uh, the colors are Polished Pink and Poppy Parade. All right, so we'll do three snowflakes and one banner. We'll do the banner in Poppy Parade and we're gonna color it in in Polished Pink. So it's gonna pick up both of those colors. All right, now let's bring over our cut and emboss machine and we'll cut all of these out. I'm gonna show you what I was talking about with our, our little Yeti. When you run your Yeti through, I made these as swap cards for an event um, in August and I found that when I ran it through and then, and then I ran it through again, the ink was leaving and uh, the ink on my clear plate. So then it was transferring the ink onto the next set of sheets and that I in places I didn't want it. So my, um, my only uh, recommendation to you is if you do this and you are stamping on your snowy white velvet sheets to make sure that you clean your clear plate um, before you use it again. Just use a, you know, like a wipe to wipe it off, to wipe that ink off. That way you don't have that transfer. Um, because mine, I didn't realize it, and it messed up some of my, my other Yetis that I was cutting out. All right, so we're gonna do the snowflakes. One is large, and the other two are small, so we'll have to run that through twice to use that die. And then the little banner, if I can get it off the magnet sheet, right, right there. All right, lay that down carefully. Make sure nothing has slid out of its place. And let's take a look now. See, can you see that, how it transferred that ink on there? The ink is completely washable. It's not gonna ruin your plates or stain them. You just have to make sure that you wipe it off before you use it again. Now I, I'm just, I have to cut out one more snowflake. So I'm just gonna flip my plate over and I'll go and clean it after our video. Like that. And there we go. All right, now before we get rid of our cut and emboss machine, we're gonna do some embossing. Um, I made another card with the Yeti that you can see on YouTube if you'd like. And I use this same embossing folder. I think it's just perfect. It's the wood, uh, Whimsical Woodland. And I'm gonna em emboss a piece of basic white that is three and three fourths by five. And I'm gonna line it up with that line right there to make sure that it stays straight. So take off all the plates except for one and then put four on top and run that through. And there you have it. Okay, now we'll move this out of the way. 
And we're gonna need our, our trimmer. Let's bring over all of our pieces so they don't get lost. I have cut um, a piece of our Celebrate Everything. I think that's what it's called, not Happy Everything. Celebrate Everything. And I'm gonna cut this piece from the top corner to the bottom diagonally. All right, and I'm gonna take that, my trimmer, and just trim it like that. And now, we have two identical pieces. Um, the triangles are upside down on one, but to me, that is fine. Um, it's a geometric pattern, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so take your embossed piece and your DSP, and we're gonna put this across the bottom corner like that. I have cut out a polished pink scallop edge. Then we're gonna run that across like that. And then we've got another piece of the same DSP. Now you could use that stripe, and ooh, I think that's pretty cute. Or you can use the polka dot. You know, since we used the polka dot last time, let's use the stripe. The paper's gonna coordinate, it's all the same colors. And let's put that right there. So we gotta get it all the way to the edge, right there, like that. Now take your scissors and you're gonna wanna trim this to match the edge of your white piece. Like that, all right? Now we're gonna mount this on a piece of polished pink that is just a quarter inch bigger. You guys, there's a free PDF on my blog. If you click the link here on YouTube, it will take you over there and you'll have all the measurements that you need. Let's make sure I get this on here straight. Let's see, it looked a little crooked. There we go. And now we're gonna put it on a Poppy Parade card base like that. All right, now I'm not gonna color his face, but I am gonna take a little bit of Poppy Parade stamp and blend and just color in those horns right there that he has. All right, and then I'm gonna grab my dimensionals. One, two, three is probably good. And we'll put those all right there. And we're gonna put him right here in the corner. Now, remember that little banner that we cut out? He's gonna be holding that cute little banner. So I'm gonna put some liquid glue on either side of the banner and put it right here so it looks like he's holding it. Isn't that adorable? So very cute. All right, now for our snowflakes, we're gonna flip these over. And let's see, do we need many dimensionals? I think we will for the, the smaller ones. We'll put one right there, and then we'll grab our many dimensionals, and we'll do one and two. Now our sentiment, I have cut out a basic white stitched rectangle, and we're gonna stamp the sentiment and Poppy Parade. Get Yeti to party. It's your birthday. This set is in the holiday catalog and I thought originally it was a, you know, a holiday stamp set, but it has birthday and um, it does have Christmas, but also has winter wishes. So you'll get, you know, a lot of use out of that. All right, there's that. And last but not least, let's add a little bit of bling. I've got my take your pick tool and some basic rhinestones. And we're just gonna, if my take your pick tool will behave, <laughs> we're gonna put those right in the middle like that. And there you go. Now look, see the difference? This one brought in a lot more color, that strip. Maybe I, I don't know, maybe I like it better because you really can't see the stripes behind all of that. Either way, you've got a cute card and it makes it fun that it's stamped on velvety paper. All right, click the link here on YouTube, hop back to my blog, grab that free PDF, check out the other Yeti projects, and let me know if you have questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.